Americans Got Talent's singing janitor, Richard Goodall, discovered he himself in the heart of a tempest. Once a basic janitor, his life has become a roller coaster of celebrity and inner conflicts. Richard struggles with sadness from losing his first wife and deals with harsh comments about his relationship with his fiancée, Angie, even with the brilliant lights and cheers. Will Richard climb above the anarchy, or will his problems bring him down? Allow us to pay great attention as the following terrible narrative is going to begin. The media has a way of finding latent skills and transforming life overnight. The janitor who sang his way to stardom with Richard, an Indiana janitor from Sullivan Elementary School, that is exactly what happened. Known locally as the singing janitor, his narrative seems like something from a movie. Imagine a quiet school at night, the hallways barely lit, and the sole sound filling the floor from a mop scrubbing. In the heart of this serene environment stood him working, most people never knew he had an amazing voice. They just considered him as a consistent worker. He would sing while he cleaned, his voice resonating in the empty hallways lost on most. That evening, all changed when a local news crew unintentionally aired Richard singing during interview preparation. But far from it, that was not the end of the narrative. For him, singing was more than just a pastime. It was a means of lightening lengthy work days. Still, the students noted his aptitude, telling him he had what it takes to perform before larger audiences. They believed in him. Their support allowed him to go big, onto the stage of America's Got Talent, hoping it would be his opportunity to make everything right. He shared his personal life before his performance. He spoke of Angie, his fiance, who had supported him through all the highs and lows, their partnership was not without difficulties, though. Some individuals found it impossible to ignore their age disparity. He also carried old emotional scars. He suffered greatly when he lost his first wife from cancer in 2019. Often sharing his suffering on social media, he provided a window into his life. It makes one wonder, would the world have known his gift if life had not presented so many obstacles? One program known for offering folks like him a shot at something more is America's Got Talent. Designed by Simon Cowell, the talent show originally ran on NBC in 2006 and soon became a hit. For millions of people, it has become their preferred summer performance with acts ranging from magic tricks and comedy to singing and dance. It even motivated spin-offs and special editions all over, demonstrating how much people enjoy seeing common people perform remarkable deeds. Contestants from all throughout the nation and even the globe come to AGT hoping to wow the judges and land the ultimate prize, a chance to headline a Las Vegas performance. The winner also gets a sizable monetary award on top of that. Every season, the program remains interesting with elements like online auditions, guest judges, and the well-known Golden Buzzer, which sends contenders straight to the live events. Each singer receives just 90 seconds to wow the judges. Should things go wrong, the buzzer can cut off their performance early. This was his chance to shine or trip as he got ready to walk onto the stage. Once in the backdrop of a peaceful school, the janitor now took front stage ready to showcase his abilities to the globe. This was his chance to turn his narrative around and at last enter the life he had only imagined. But never are things that straightforward, are they? He was not always under observation. He cleaned classrooms and halls silently for years as a school janitor. But all changed when he chose to let the world know about his latent gift, his voice. Driven to prove what he could accomplish, he traveled to Las Vegas not for the casinos or dazzling lights, but rather to gamble on the stage. He showed up on America's Got Talent dressed simply, a shirt, pants, and a cap. He told Terry Crews, the host of the show, his modest background. Terry, who used to sweep floors in Los Angeles in his early years, related right away with his narrative. Their conversation demonstrated how little starts never stop someone from dreaming large. Now presented his opportunity for brilliance. 
Once it was time to perform, a janitor revealed his secret. He appeared initially to be anxious, then took a time to gather himself. But the intensity in the room changed as he started singing, Don't Stop Believin'. Such a strong voice buried in a janitor for more than 20 years astounded the crowd and judges. He chose his song because it captured the difficulties he had overcome and the will that kept him going, not out of random choosing. If you enjoy our content and want to support us, click on the Super Thanks button below. Your Super Thanks is not just a donation, it is a blessing that supports our mission to share the transformative journey of Jesus. Still, the true test still lay ahead. Would the assessors find sufficient impression to forward him? This section of the program always keeps contenders on edge. But things were looking good with the audience supporting him and the judges staring amazed. The moment everyone waits for arrived, he received the golden buzzer as the applause grew. He skipped all the early rounds and directly went to the live events. For him, this was evidence that tenacity pays rewards, not only a step forward toward greater competitiveness. His narrative resonated all over the nation, demonstrating to everyone, no matter where you start, that it is never too late to pursue your ambitions. Still, this was more than simply TV success. People who had been ignored or caught in their own life came across his presentation, his path served as a reminder to them that where you start does not determine where you will finish. The most important thing is the passion and diligence you offer. Messages from motivated spectators poured in following his great victory. People related how his experience inspired them to push on in spite of challenges. His narrative was about believing in yourself even when no one else sees, not only about a man with a secret skill. Years of wearing a janitor's uniform notwithstanding, his voice never was muffled. His skill now transcends the boundaries of Sullivan Elementary School, demonstrating that great ideas may originate from unlikely sources. Still, the trip had emotional weight. Overwhelmed with excitement following his audition, he called his fiancée, Angie, to let her know the news would change her life. It was a moment of complete delight particularly in their 50s, how many people, knowing they might be rejected, have the guts to stand on a national platform. His boldness was remarkable. His memories surged back with every note he sung. Richard performed a song by Michael Bolton, one of his favorite R&B performers, on Next Show. This went beyond just trying to wow the judges. Drawing the audience into his world, his performance was intensely emotional and personal. His song selection was deliberate. It spoke to everyone who listened. Still, his tears revealed more than just stage fear. His ex-wife had died just before he started filming the program. Memories of her crowded his head as he sung. Even though he worked daily as a janitor, she had always been his most ardent supporter, pushing him to fulfill his artistic aspirations. Their relationship had been a marriage based on love, aspirations, and relentless support. She had been there, reminding him of his skill even in times when he questioned himself. Every song he performed honored the people he believed in, particularly his late wife. His trip on America's Got Talent paid homage to people who had been in his life and aspirations, not only a shot at glory and it reminded everyone observing that it's never too late to pursue your heart and bring about something remarkable wherever life carries you. Following his singing performance, he said he dedicated his song to his fiancée, Angie. He chose a Michael Bolton song specifically since Angie loved it. The lyrics of the song meant a lot to him, and when he sung, he was not only aiming to wow the judges or please the audience, Celebrating their love, he was also honoring the memories of his late wife by singing straight to Angie. Though deep, the feelings that surfaced were not only from grief, they also sprang from love and the wish to honor someone unique. It felt to him as he sung that his late wife was beside him, silently cheering him from some distance. Every person in the room could sense the depth of his sharing. This was something significant, not only a performance that will live in memory. The room went still. His story was only starting. 
His naturally strong voice had a particular warmth to it during the song that moved everyone who listened. Every note and syllable the listener could sense his emotions. He opened out when his performance finished, and he was questioned about the tears in his eyes. He described how much the song meant to him, how strongly he loved Angie and his late wife, and how music let him communicate all those emotions. His honesty moved the judges. They viewed him as someone who had gone through both love and grief and was now harnessing those events to produce something beautiful, not only as a gifted competitor. His performance told a tale of love, grief, and hope once again, not only about displaying his voice. One of the toughest things a person can experience is losing someone they love, particularly if that person has spent so long in your life. Spending 30 years with his wife, he created a loving life full with priceless memories. Every holiday they celebrated was joyful, and their pictures reflected their close relationship. But his wife gave up her fight with cancer in 2019. Her passing left a void in his life that seemed unfillable. Reminders of their life together permeated every area in their house. Though he was appreciative of all the years they spent, he battled daily loneliness left behind. Proceeding felt like scaling a mountain without knowing if he would ever summit. Still, his narrative did not finish here. He rediscovered love over time, first with Angie. Falling in love once more after losing his wife caused remorse in him at times. It was not a simple road. Moving forward meant leaving behind the memory of his wife. But Angie's compassion and patience helped him see that discovering new love did not mean discounting the old. He uploaded a picture of him and Angie on Instagram on August 25th, showing themselves at a neighborhood restaurant named Taco Tequila. With his caption, Fun Night with My Lane, he was demonstrating that he was starting to feel cheerful once more. Still, he used music frequently for solace, even with Angie at his side. At home, he would sing along to his stereo while thinking about joining a band, something he had always yearned for but never considered might ever happen. Then life shocked him in a way he never would have imagined. Suddenly, people all around began noticing his skill after a video of him singing Journey at a nearby school became viral on TikHub. The delight he experienced at that point set his passion ablaze once more. Starting rolling in, invitations to perform arrived, and by July his band had events every Saturday. He could not be happier as his fantasy was about to come true. And just like that, we're booked every weekend in July. Thanks for the band's hard work. See you folks Saturday night at Archie's Sports Bar at 7.30. Don't miss a note. For him, the chance to perform every weekend felt like a gift, something he had always hoped for but never thought would happen at this point in his life. But things were not as easy as they seemed. It was difficult for him to concentrate on performing when money was tight. Just when things seemed like they might fall apart, something wonderful happened. His love of performing came with unexpected challenges. His job paid only a modest income, and the costs of traveling to shows and keeping up with the competition rapidly became overwhelming. By June 9th, the campaign had raised $15,000 from 382 people. This support gave him the freedom to follow his dream, free from concern about how he would afford everything. Chris Burson, a local man, saw his struggle and decided to help. Every time Richard sang, he was sharing a part of himself with the world, not just singing songs. His voice carried the weight of all he had been through, the loss of his wife, the delight of finding love again, and the excitement of chasing a dream he thought he had lost. Richard's relationship was not about replacing what he had lost. Rather, it was about creating something new together, one full of shared dreams and the hope for a happy future. Music became more than just a passion for Richard. It became a way to heal and connect. Angie, his new partner, became his biggest supporter, cheering him on through every performance. The video that went viral was only the beginning. Each gig, each interview, each post on social media became another means for Richard to connect with people while his band kept on performing. Terre Haute was simply one place where his story touched others. 
Grace Vanderwall stunned everyone with her distinctive voice and heartfelt songs on America's Got Talent. On August 23rd, in the quarterfinals, she performed Beautiful Thing, a song she penned for her sister. Simon Cowell's remark that Grace Vanderwall could be the next Taylor Swift really gave her great confidence. A week later, on August 30th, she performed another original song, Light the Sky, in the semifinals, leaving everyone in wonder. The performance was emotional and profoundly touched the audience. It's not every day you see a 12-year-old with such amazing stage presence, let alone one who can play the ukulele so effortlessly. Grace's songs weren't only about showing off her talent. They carried significant messages about kindness and self-acceptance. But the competition wasn't the toughest part. Deciding what to do with her million-dollar prize was a challenge, too. On September 13, she gave a strong performance of Clay, a song about standing up to bullies and believing in yourself. She let herself enjoy some of it by asking the Treehouse Masters team to create two custom treehouses, one for her and one for her sister. Grace knew she wanted to do something meaningful with the money and chose to donate part of it to charity, demonstrating even at such a young age her thoughtfulness. Next up was Grace, ready to share her voice. Grace's path to stardom after the competition. Grace's popularity skyrocketed. In September 2016 she appeared on both. The Ellen DeGeneres Show and The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. These treehouses represented a new chapter in Grace's personal life. Where her dreams were becoming reality. Grace performed four sold-out events at the PH Showroom. In Las Vegas in October alongside other finalists from America's Got Talent. So fulfilling one of her childhood dreams of performing on a major stage. Her live performances proved that. She could shine in front of an audience. Just as much as she did on television. Her modest demeanor. And extraordinary talent won over even more fans. Grace lead the America's Got Talent Holiday Spectacular in December where she performed a lovely rendition of Frosty the Snowman, thereby transcending mere competition. To include how she handled the spotlight afterwards, Grace's performance was magical, spreading holiday cheer and demonstrating that she could perform well-known songs just as naturally as her own originals. But winning a contest and releasing an EP didn't mean Grace could relax. There were still fresh challenges ahead balancing fame and personal life, while also developing as an artist, wasn't easy. Every song Grace wrote had a personal story or message listeners could relate to. Whether she was singing about bullying, family, or chasing dreams, her words felt real and honest. Her journey from a shy girl with a ukulele to a national sensation was not just luck, it was a mix of hard work, creativity, and passion. Each time Grace took the stage, she demonstrated to the world that she had something unique to offer. Fans loved her not only for her music, but also for the way she stayed true to herself throughout the entire journey. But this was not the end of the road. Grace knew there was still a lot more to learn and accomplish. Her story is a reminder that dreams can come true. If you believe in yourself, and stay committed to what you love. Grace's rise to fame was more than just a series of events. It was about making a difference. As she developed as a musician, people were delighted to see where her journey would take her next. Fans know that whatever Grace does next, it will be just as significant and motivating as she has already accomplished. Every song, every interview, Every performance carries a message of hope, kindness, and self-confidence. Her journey is proof that even the smallest voices can create a big impact if they speak from the heart. Everyone is excited to see what Grace will do next. What do you think distinguishes her from other musicians in her path? Leave your ideas in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe for more conversations. Her future is full with possibilities. If you enjoy our content and want to support us, click on the Super Thanks button below. Your Super Thanks is not just a donation, 
It is a blessing that supports our mission. To share the transformative journey of Jesus. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates. See you in the next video.